Bill, The Worm Who Ran Away, written and illustrated by Pamela Morris, narrated by Pamela Morris. Once there was a worm who lived in the woods with his family. His name was Bill. Every day, Bill's brothers and sisters followed him wherever he went. Bill never had any time to himself. One night, Bill decided to run away. He wiggled deep into the dark, dark woods. He wiggled and wiggled and soon found himself in a place he had never been before. Bill was very tired, so he found a leaf to sleep under for the rest of the night. The next morning, Bill decided he needed to find a good place to call home. He wiggled and wiggled until he heard the sound of water. It was a stream. Bill thought living next to a stream would be a good idea. He made a hole next to a tree, just the right size for one worm. That night, it began to rain. Bill kept sleeping until water hit him right on the forehead. His new home was flooding. Bill wiggled and wiggled out of the hole as the water rose higher and higher. Bill crawled into a tree and found a leaf to protect him from the rain. Worms don't belong in trees. Oh, what a terrible night it was for Bill. When morning came, Bill was happy to see the sunshine. He ate his leaf umbrella for breakfast. From the branch, Bill could see a long, long way. Maybe from here, he could find a good place to call home. Bill wiggled and wiggled way out onto the branch until he was right over the stream. The sun sparkled on the water. Bill was very happy and full of hope. Without warning, a huge fish came leaping from the water. Bill almost fell off the branch. The fish jumped and jumped. Bill hung on for dear life. The third time the fish jumped, it hit Bill with its nose. Bill couldn't hold on any longer and fell into the stream with a splash. Bill wiggled and wiggled with all his might. Worms aren't very good swimmers. Luckily, he hit an old log that had fallen into the water and was able to climb onto it before he drowned. The fish was nowhere in sight. Maybe climbing into a tree had not been such a good idea. After resting, Bill wiggled and wiggled his way back to solid ground. He went deeper into the woods, away from the dangerous stream. Bill found a rotten log. The ground under it was perfect. By the end of the day, Bill had made a new home. He was so tired he didn't even have dinner. Bill slept safe and sound all night. The next morning, Bill woke to the sound of someone pounding on his roof. Knock, knock, knock. It gave Bill a headache. He wiggled and wiggled his way out to the door and crawled out to see what was going on. Knock, knock, knock. It was a woodpecker. It was jumping all over the log, pecking bigger and bigger holes into the wood and gobbling up bugs and grubs as fast as it could. Bill was terrified. He had to get out of there quick or the woodpecker would eat him for breakfast too. Maybe living under a log had not been such a good idea. Bill wiggled and wiggled as quietly and quickly as he could. He was starting to miss home, even his annoying brothers and sisters. Bill was not a happy worm. Maybe running away from home had not been such a good idea. Maybe he should have talked to his mom and dad about his problem instead. Bill headed home. He wiggled and wiggled past the stream with the hungry fish. He wiggled and wiggled past the tree he had slept in. He wiggled and wiggled past the hole where he had nearly drowned. He wiggled and wiggled 
all the way back to his own bed where he slept the best sleep ever. At breakfast the next morning, his brothers and sisters were so happy to see Bill again, they promised to stop following him everywhere and to sometimes let him have time alone. His mom and dad were glad he told them why he had run away. He was happy to be home. With a piece of leaf in his mouth, Bill said, I'm never going to run away from home again. And he never did. The end.